Uh, please introduce yourself to our viewers. Capcom uh, producer, Biohazard uh, Revelations producer, Kawata. It's a great honor to be here and to talk to you about Resident Evil Revelations. I'm a big fan of the series for a very long time. Um, Revelation is definitely a step back to the older Resident Evil games. Um, um, was this done on purpose due to the fact that some fans complained about Resident Evil 5 to being too much into the action direction or is this just a natural progression? And so, um, yeah, we wanted to focus uh, Revelations more on the survival horror uh, aspect of, of the Resident Evil series and bring it back to its roots a little bit more. Uh, and we wanted to do that on the 3DS, uh, using uh, the functions on the 3DS, uh, some things that you can only do on the 3DS. Uh, and so uh, we think that uh, a lot of fans will be happy with uh, Revelations as it will be a new uh, Resident, Resident Evil game experience for them. And uh, I'm also uh, in charge of other Resident Evil games like uh, Mercenaries and Operation Raccoon City. Uh, and this time, uh, and they're all very different in their own way. Uh, but for this specific title, we really wanted to focus on uh, going back to the roots and survival horror aspect of it. Okay, uh, Revelation is obviously parted and um, divided into different parts. Um, one time you play with Jessica and Chris and the next time with Jill and uh, Parker. Um, what's the structure behind it? Will they all come together in the end and um, what's the big idea behind it? So, um, yes, so there are different, as you uh, mentioned earlier, there are different situations, uh, different stages, uh, lo locations in the game. One where you're playing with Jill on the boat, another one you're Chris in this snowy mountain. Uh, so there are various situations um, and they will all merge together, they will, they will come together, so they're not separate stories on their own, um, they're all part of a big story and they all they all merge together eventually as the story uh, progresses. Um, what adds the 3D to revel Revelations? Um, what makes it special? Uh, so what makes a revelation special with uh, its, its 3D uh, function uh, using the 3DS is we wanted to uh, increase the, f the horror or, or the survival horror aspect of the game by getting players more immersed into it. So the 3D feel, uh, getting them into, uh, getting them to feel more scared while they're playing the game. And then your trailer, new T virus is mentioned. Is there any relation between the new T virus and the old T virus? Will we maybe see uh, old villains and maybe a comeback of Umbrella or whatever? Well, uh, we can't uh, give you too much information or it wouldn't be fun, uh, it wouldn't be exciting. <laughs> uh, so what uh, we can tell you now uh, is that the, this new virus is like un any, uh, unlike any other virus that has been in the previous installments of Resident Evil. And in this uh, version of the trailer that we're showing, uh, there are a lot of uh, mysterious things going on in, in the trailer, a lot of uh, things that if you look carefully you might find something that is interesting. So we recommend that you watch the trailer over and over again and see what you can find. I'll do. <laughs> is Alba Vesca dead? <laughs> uh, we don't, I can't really say anything about that, I don't know, no comment there. Personally, I think he's dead. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I guess I did. Thank you very much. Arigato. Thanks a lot. Thanks.